Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Strong Guy Build-A-Figure Wave. We've got our Pirate Deadpool. And I'm really excited about this because, well for one, I know I've been talking about it a lot. Uh, being the fact that I couldn't find it. Um... Yeah, I really pretty much all but given up on this guy because I just really wasn't chasing anymore. I was I guess I was still going out hunting and hoping to find it, but I didn't have my expectations up at all. Uh and I got to the point where I actually was ready to, you know, just order this uh online somehow. Uh I've been I was looking in toy groups and stuff, seeing if anybody was posting for sale. And uh yeah, so I had pretty much just figured that I wasn't going to be able to get this guy at retail <laughs> until, you know, maybe they started kicking out some more of these way, you know, later on, or, you know. Um, but anyway, a couple days ago, me and the old lady went out to a Walmart in kind of a desolate area that we don't normally go to, and we go back in the toy aisle. And there's evidence of this wave on the peg. We, I, we, you know, we walk in. Of course, they're already all the ones I got. And I'm like, fuck, man, you know, no Deadpool. So, you know, we cruise around a little bit. I'm looking, trying to see if there's anything else at all, any masters or just something that I didn't already have. Didn't really find shit. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we go around and on the back aisles because you know they just did the resets and everything. There's like a whole aisle of like clearance toys back there, and you know, we're, we're going through, we're looking, I'm, we're walking down, I'm looking at all the stuff, you know, but I'm just looking at clearance and shit, so we get down about halfway down, or a little farther than halfway down the aisle, and the old lady, she pulls something off the shelf, oh man, these would be good, you know, we'll put them in the cart, and I'm like, alright, so I'm really kind of like realizing now that some of the prices for this clearance stuff is like really low, you know, and so I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back that way, and you know, and take a look, and as I'm cruising by, like, just, you know, I'd say waist level, or just mid-section level, the, the shelf right there, I'm looking down and everything, and there's a gap right there between a couple items that are on clearance, and this dude's, like, just laying here like this, with a little price that says $1.50 on it, and that definitely wasn't the price for the figure, but somebody had just dropped, set it right there, so... <laughs> I seen it and I'm just like freaking and squealing like a little girl in the toy aisle. Like, Look, ah, you know, like, so it's pretty nuts how I found it. It's pretty cool. So <laughs> definitely can't wait to get this guy out of here now because I'm wanting to put the strong guy together for one. Now this is definitely a figure. I'm gonna start getting it open and shit because I'm just rambling on. But this is <sighs> to me like I didn't really care about the pirate Deadpool. I, I didn't. I wasn't seeking it so bad because of what it was. It's just, it completes my build a figure, and that's mainly, you know, but all the same, this is still a really cool version of Deadpool, and it's something that none of us were really even expecting. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm excited about it. Was it something I was really wanting? Not necessarily, but yeah. I am a fan of Deadpool. I mean, I'm not like super crazy over him or anything, but um, I guess anytime we can get some cool, obscure Deadpool characters in plastic form, I'm all about it. Just as long as it's not, you know, constant repaints and stuff. You know, when it's something new like this and just way different, yeah, I'm down. Uh, the only thing I could say that I wish this guy had, though, is some freaking boots instead of just his normal I mean and, and these ain't really even the normal feet for him these are like bucky cap feet god damn I was having a break uh, but no like some kind of well they did this with the X-Force Deadpool too damn this fucking ankle joint here fuck <laughs> It's got some hard detents in there, and I don't like where it's positioned, so it's just like constantly facing forward. 
trying to find a sweet spot in there and it's not letting me. This guy, you need all the good ankle action you can get because with this uh, overlay here, you're not going to get much action out of that. But that's why I do. I wish he had boots because that one would have helped stabilize him a little bit better. Uh, and I know we've gotten boots on our Deadpools before. Mainly like the Juggernaut Wave Deadpool has boots. Uh, and then I think after that, no, the Riders Wave, the one on Scooter, he's got boots. So it's not like they couldn't have put boots on this dude. I don't know. Or even some kind of, yeah, like the, the, the same kind of boots like on the... Uh, the Baron Zemos and shit like that, man. They could have given him those kind of boots with the fucking cufflings and shit. I might actually, <laughs> if I if I was to customize this at all and change it up and make it the way I want, I think I will actually do that. Just put boots on him. And that would just really look good and help, you know, kind of pull more color to it and give, you know what I mean? But other than that, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like I'm complaining about it. I'm not really. It's just, I think the boots would have really set this thing off. That would have made it look super fucking cool. But yeah, I really like it, though. And if there would have been a removable hat, that would have been awesome. But I love his pistol. This thing's dope as shit. Um, this is definitely the first time that this has been in the Marvel Legends line, but I'm not saying that Hasbro may have not used this somewhere else before but of course we get a katana you know Deadpool's signature weapon I guess you could say and we got this swashbuck or whatever the fuck it is pirate sword deal pretty awesome and of course you know he's got the sculpted on shit you know the cape is removable but I'm not gonna take the cape off there's no point it looks good as shit with the cape on so yeah uh, oh fuck, I should have grabbed Hydro Bob up there, man. Just sticking with Hydro Bob. I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. Because, I mean, I don't know. I, I, do I need to explain the storyline? Because I never read it, but I, I do know of it. Um, you know, where Deadpool was owed a bunch of money from Norman Osborn for some some mercenary work, I guess he did for, for Osborn. And... Yeah, uh, he went, gathered up Hydra Bob, and they went out, and, uh, like, went to some kind of island with a bunch of rich people and stole a, stole a yacht or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's what happened, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why I should have grabbed Hydra Bob, it just makes sense, but. It's not too late. That motherfucker's standing right up there, I think. Up front. I'm not gonna get him. Just trying to get my Deadpool pimped out. And I think you could pull it off. Like somebody had said that they wanted to get him. Who did a review? They were talking about getting him in like a Captain Morgan pose, and that's perfectly. Uh, I can see why. I mean, that's that's how I want him. You know. And uh, it, it's it's doable. It's probably challenging, but it's doable. I, I'm definitely gonna have this dude posed in some Captain Morgan type style. Go ahead and uh, get one of my uh, Fortnite four-inch loot crates or whatever. Those little chest. Use that. It's like a backdrop or something. Find me a fucking pirate ship. It's gonna be cool as fuck. Uh, this dude ain't gonna fucking stand. He's. Ugh. Here he is with his weapons now, and yeah, he, he's really hard to stand, <laughs> no lie. His ankles on him, they just, they don't want to cooperate. And like I said, having this thing on too, it just kind of pushes his legs where it wants them to go. If you need a wider stance, it's hard to get that from here. I'm seriously struggling to get this guy to stand. It's bullshit. Fuck, man. Come on, dude. Do I have it? Oh, look at this son of a bitch. Look at 
like it's gonna take like two minutes just to stand the guy. All right. Anyways, I think it's comparison time. Fuck it, because I've talked enough about the figure. Uh, I do want to compare him to. I don't know why, but just this Spider-Man, because you know, it's just a super sick fucking Spider-Man. Definitely one of the figures of the year. And my little Norman Osborn that I was able to make from the new Green Goblin. I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, he's coming to get you, dude. You owe him money. Come on, man. I don't want to deal with other action figures not standing too that I'm not even reviewing, man. Come on. So, yeah, and then I'm going to guess I'm going to compare him to the other Deadpool in the line here. We've got our X-Men Deadpool. Oh, you have to be. This dude already sucks at standing. Both of these Deadpools in this line so far are just crappy at standing. <laughs> no doubt. This guy here, his legs, well... You guys, if you remember the video of this guy, I was not impressed with the legs here. But yeah, there they are, the two Deadpools of the wave. So yeah, I'm definitely going to wrap this up because I have no idea how long this might take to upload. And then uh, I really want to get down with my strong guy build a figure wave, so, or with a build figure review anyway. Uh, yeah, let me go. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. And let me know what you think of the review. Did I ramble way too long? Probably. Uh, anyways, show that love. Hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done it. And you'll be able to catch my next videos. Also, try to find the notifications and hit that dingy dingy bell thing. Alright, I'm Master Marvel. And I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.